Well, how do that, people in the view of Earth? It's me, Captain of the Steers. I got myself a cup of tea today, people. Yeah, it's not in my normal merch mug. It's in a glass. Yes. Anyways, um, yeah, I started off the day with coffee. Anyway, enough about my beverages, people. We're here for some news on No Man's Sky. You say, Captain S Steve, there hasn't been any news on No Man's Sky. Well, a little bit of Murray watch, a little bit of speculation, and boom, we've got some news. So let's get into it, shall we, people? Let's jump on over into the old PC verse, shall we? Pop out, baby! Oh, I'm on the last tab. You've got a sneak preview of the future. Anyways, here we are. So this is Sean and Murray's page. Let's scroll on down on the old Murray watch and see what's going on, shall we? So you can see there's Sean Murray being adorned with a medal, taking a bite of said medal, offering up some thank yous to the world. And then spraying a load of freaking champagne everywhere. But where is he on the scale? At the bottom of the ladder. So why has he put this up? Well, they've been nominated for an award. Player's Voice Award, to be precise, over at the Game Awards. And there's a lot of games to be chosen, decated from. Anyway, I've done my bit. I've gone over. I've voted. I've done my votes. Anyway, so there you go. You've got Sean doing little praying signs. Go on over, people. Head on over there. Hit up a vote. If you think Sean of the Murrays and the team over there deserves the vote. Oh, here you go. And here's my page here. I've gone over. I've done my vote. Vote submitted. Heck yes. You've got until Thursday. Thursday to keep on voting. Heck yes. Yes, and you can see there. I voted for No Man's Sky. Anyways. Um, so that's done. That's done anyway. There's a link there. Go hit it up. It's easy peasy. Lemon squeeze. Doesn't take a moment. Now for some news. So a Beeble bum put out a post that I reposted that I thought is interesting. So this is what Beeble has to say. While most of us have been eagerly awaiting for a sneaky emoji, especially with the consist constant internal updates over on the old depots. We'll go check those in a moment. It starts to feel that 2023 will end with the expedition rerun. Not that No Man's Sky can't surprise us. Heck yes, Sean Murray and the team could surprise us. It could still be on the table. It's looking less and less likely as we're running out of the uh, year. With only three expeditions this year, it's logical it will start later. Well, the thing with this is... A lot of these expeditions run until like, you know, towards the end of January. They don't really run into February. And when I say end of January, they end about mid-January. But most updates that we get in February are around about mid-February time. So technically, they could run all the way up to mid-Feb until we get another update. So even if they don't start early, they could end later. But yeah, I do like his table, I like his train of thought, and it does make sense. So it could be that they start a little bit later, people inside of the view of us. It could be that. So yeah, I'll just put it out there. just want to echo his sentiment that there might only be a three expeditions to run this year. I am still keeping my fingers crossed that we're going to get given Expedition 12 for everybody to run, and then the three reduxes, or the three reduxes, then maybe Expedition 12 at the end of the reduxes, is what I'm thinking. Fingers crossed, people, because we normally get four a year. Sean himself and the team have said that these are seasonal, which there's four seasons to the year last time I checked. Ha! Gotcha! Uh, probably not, though. You know, we're in the hands of the gods. It's not like we pay for this content. It's not like we've got season passes. It's not like we're owed these things. So, you know, Hello Games can do what they like. They can chop and change the rules as they please. Damn it! Yeah. I think I'd rather have seasonal passes if it meant we got a seasonal expedition. But that's just me. Anyway, so that's the last image that Sean tweeted out of an autophage gazing off into one yonder. It's like me looking out for a freaking update. Where is it? Yeah, it feels quite desolate. I'm on my own. Who cares? Where's the update? I'm not on my own. There's a lot of people that have been looking for this update or half expecting one to drop any time now. Anyway. I talk to Hero quite often on the old Tinterwebs, and Hero also pointed out to me that all reviews are now mostly positive, and recent reviews are overwhelmingly positive. If it continues this trend, then it won't be long before overwhelmingly positive becomes the consensus. So yes, hello games. Round of applause! That was a shite round of applause. There you go! That's for you, people at Hello Games. You're freaking awesome! And it shows. It shows over on Steam with that going overwhelmingly positive. That's probably thanks to like the likes of Steam Deck. And I think, maybe I'm right, I might be wrong, but I think Apple Mac plugs into this as well, doesn't it, or something? But anyway, well done. Yeah, yeah. 
Anyway, talking to him, he actually stuck it over on Twitter, on not Twitter, Reddit. He put it on Reddit. Let's go and have a look, just see how many upvotes this has got now. Because it had quite a lot of upvotes just the other week when I looked. But now, look at this, it's got 2.2k upvotes. And I haven't, I haven't clicked it yet. There you go. I'm in the mix now. I'm in the frickin' mix. Anyway, let's scroll on down. Let's have a quick little gander at some of the actual comments. Cool, so we go. The fact that the overall reviews are even positive is a testament to how far the game has come. Best redemption arc in gaming history, says Cosmic Kotek. And the last person was Huge Republic. Nice one. Hershey Squirt says, Honestly, I really don't think any game or developer has seen the lowest of the lows to the highest of the highs as No Man's Sky and Hello Games. From being memed on to being an actually resected game and developer is really awesome to see how far everything has come. Sorry about that, I've got a bit of gas then, people. Agree, even Cyberpunk was a little too late until they um, fixed most of the bugs. People already finished the game. <laughs> yeah, I'd finished the game before they put in a lot of the fixes. But then again, you know, I'd finished um, No Man's Sky, got to the center of the universe and then started in the next one to go through that one. When do you actually say I've completed it? I mean, yes, I did it in permadeath as well, and I've got all the trophies. Maybe I have completed it now because I've got every trophy going. Platinum it! Yes. But anyway, people, if you want to carry on reading all of these, they all share the same sort of sentiments. There's quite a lot of love in there from the actual Reddit community. Now, I, I don't know about you people, but I frequent Reddit every now and again. And as I'm going through Reddit, I see quite a lot of negative stuff. Not the case here, people. This is all overwhelmingly positive stuff. Very, very cool. Very nice to see this happening over on Reddit. Even the Reddit No Man's Sky community is far awesomer than other Reddit communities. I mean, I'm not part of many. I'm only in a few Reddit groups, to be honest, people. I don't do the old social medias all too often. I mean, yeah, YouTube I do and Twitter I do. Okay, fair enough, you got me. I do a lot of social medias, but I don't do much on Reddit and I don't do much on Discord. But there you go, people. Head on over. Take a look at this. It's freaking awesome. I put a link to it inside my video description if you want to go over there, if you want to upvote it, if you want to put a comment on. Freaking awesome. I know that Hello Games and Hello Games Studio, they, they do sort of jump onto the old Reddit and look for the most upvoted stuff. So, you know, this could really sort of fill them full of glee. Yes, it could. Anyway, people, so that's pretty much everything I've got for you inside of the No Man's Sky verse when it comes to Tinterwebs. But have I got anything for you inside of game? I'll just jump on over inside of game and see if the next thing is unlocked inside of the Quicksilver store. I won't be a moment. Right, so as you can see, I'm just logging into the old No Man's Sky. I've got myself my cup of tea. And we'll be jumping over to the Quicksilver Merchant Johnny Five to see if he's got the next Pandangly item. You know what, I could go put it at a base if he has. It's lovely. Anyway, let's jump on over into game. I goes, chicka pa pa, chicka boom boom. I'm inside the Starfieldy type nebula. Well, this isn't Starfield, it's No Man's Sky, but that was a Starfield. I know, it gets confusing. Oh fudge, I'm at my base where I want to put the part, but we need to go on up to the Nexus. I'll see you inside of the Nexus, people. Well, I've arrived oh, yes. inside of the Nexus, people, and I can already see the bar above Johnny Five's kiosk has gone orange on the second tier, so that means it's available for us to purchase a gate. Let's go grab it. So here we go, it's the covered crate. We're getting that for 800 quick Sylvia. Thank you very much, I guess. Next will be the covered silos. I'm thinking maybe mm, this time next week, maybe? Yeah, maybe, maybe. Like next Wednesday or something. Yeah, so we have the weekend and then we'll see. But anyway, after that, there's three more decals to go yet, people. Anyway, I'll head back down to that base where I just was and we'll uh, put this down and see what it looks like. Right, well, I am back at my base. And yes, it's my spidery base. I've got a big spider there. I've got a little spider there that I built out the last parts. Anyway, what I think I might do is put this new item, which I think is under this flag icon. It could be anyway. Let's sort of scroll on down. There it is there. Covered crates. I'm going to put them on the opposite side of this monolith. Why the fudge not? I'll stick them there. I guess. I'll just pull them out the monolith slightly. Is that in the monolith? That's in the monolith. Okay, we'll delete that then. We'll try again. Yeah, help if I could go from top view, but a spider is there. Inconvenient spider! Let's stick that there then. Is that touching the monolith? It's hard to say, isn't it? All right, well, that'll do. We'll stick it there and sod it. If it is touching the monolith, it's touching the monolith. Boom! 
There we go. I do. Let's have a look, see if it's got cape physics. It hasn't got cloth physics. It's not doing any of that wavy-davy stuff like the ones do that are actually at the camps. But that looks pretty good. Looks like maybe it's laid a load of cobwebs there or something, is what I was thinking, people. But anyway, that's, uh, yeah, it's a base part that I'm probably never going to use. Or if I do use, I don't know what I'd use it for, apart from maybe making my own campsite people inside the universe. Anyway, there you go, you got that. That's lovely, isn't it? Right, well, I better upload the base then. Better just upload the base since we've got the new part here. I'll put all the new parts here just so we can demo them. But yeah, as far as base parts go, it's not as gnarly as these crane arms. I mean, look what I made out of the crane arms. That spider down there is freaking lovely, isn't it? I mean, technically, I could have used that pallet as its head. Or I could put it on its back. Yeah, let's put another one on its back. Let's, uh, let's stick one right here. Because they've usually got quite a big abdomen, haven't they? Can we rescale this? Oh, you can. All right, okay. They've usually got quite a large abdomen. So, you know, that, that might work as an abdomen. You know what? I think that does work as an abdomen. That looks pretty darn freaking lovely. All right, well, I better upload my base again now. All right, fine. Done! There you go, it's a spider's abdomen, people. That's what you can use it for, spider's abdomens. I'm fairly sure you can find other uses, but that's what I've used it for. Is it transparent, though, from the underside? Because you're supposed to put it on the floor, aren't you? No, it has a base to it. It looks like a wooden pallet. Bit of a shite texture, but at least it's got something. It's not freaking hollow and see-through like some things are. Right, OK, well, there you are, people. I've just built a spider's abdomen using my crate. Thank you, people. There you are. Awesome. Until next time. Oh, it's gone bloody dark. Just as I was going to wave you all goodbye. You know what? Let's just go back into the other view, people. So, yeah, speculation wise, I honestly do think that we're going to have something happen in the next week or so. Is it going to be emoji worthy? Is what I'm wondering. Is it just going to be the reduxes and reruns like Beeble is speculating with his little table that he put up earlier inside of this video? Or do you think it could be more than that? Do you think we might get an emoji? Sound up in the comments. Let us know. Yeah, I, I've got mixed feelings, people. i got mixed feelings. I would have thought if something really big was happening, we would have got a trailer in the last week. You know why all the sales are on? I think Hello Games would have put out a trailer to say this is what you are going to be investing in. They didn't do that. So I don't think it's a big update. Whatever it is, I think it's going to be quite small. It could be just the reruns. Or it could be Expedition 12 and reruns, is what I'm hoping for. That's my hopes, but my expectations are just reruns. Okay, so if you set your expectations at just reruns, if we do get Expedition 12, it's a bonus. But don't hold out for Expedition 12, is what I'm saying, people. Until next time, goodbye, goodbye, and goodbye again.